Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in AI Human Generator. That's right, you can now create humans uh, basically with the kind of features and the kind of look that you want. And very interestingly, this one provides a UI. This is the first one that is not purely prompt based. Let me show you what the heck I'm talking about. So I'll put a link in the description below to try it out. But here we are on AI Human Generator, AKA generated.photos. And look at this, I'm just gonna click this button here and we got some, you know, we got some interesting looking humans. I believe this use, this does use stable diffusion. I'm not sure which model, but I don't believe it's a fine tuned model. But anyways, let's get in and get rolling. So the first thing you'll notice here is you can now select the age. So I've got it selected at an infant, but let's say I want young adult, I don't know. I can do that, I can click on the update button and it will go ahead and process it. But let's go a little further down the rabbit hole because we can make a whole bunch of other changes. For example, actually that's not too bad. Uh, if I want it to be, select the gender, we can do one of the one, two, three genders, only three genders, I didn't know, I don't know how many there are, but there's only three genders in this one here. So female, male, non-binary. And then if we go down a little further here, we can select skin tone. And this gets quite, yeah, it gets quite uh, interesting. So you can get a porcelain skin tone, whatever that is a golden skin tone, a caramel skin tone, okay, mahogany, dark mahogany, I like that, let's go with that. And then every time you make a new selection, you can go ahead and just start changing it. So right now this uh, lady that we're creating is Turkish, but if I want her to be U Ugandan, I'll just change it, I'll click on update, or I can just keep going through and changing things as I see fit, update human, we want her to be athletic, let's say. And here's the very interesting part, you can actually select a pose. So uh, I don't know, maybe we want, okay, we want this this kind of seductive looking pose, I suppose. And then here we go, we can select a hairstyle. And again, I mean, you can always do this with prompt generators, typing in exactly what you want, but this has a very fun UI that allows you to make some changes. And we'll go with red here. But before I go on that, I can add something down here. So this is where it gets interesting. So I could say, uh, this is kind of where the prompt goes and it's at the bottom here. So it's not super easy to see, but I don't know, maybe wearing a blue dress, something like that, uh, freckles, whatever you want it to say. And then finally, the last thing I'll show you, and this is optional, is you can actually upload a face. So if you have a face in mind, for example, if I go into my finder, and I go to my pictures. I've got this picture here that I just created. I'll drag and drop this lady's face on it. And then it's it's a large picture, but it's going to actually just find the face and then it will go ahead and a lot. See, it's done it. It's done a great job actually. And there we go. I'm going to click on update human. So, we went through all those different steps there. We 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 you know, we changed the UI there. The UI is there for us to go ahead and change. We got dark mahogany. We changed the ethnicity. We changed the age. We uploaded our own image as a reference. And then presto. I mean, this is the first crack at it, but not too bad. Not going to lie. So this is how you go ahead and create AI generated humans inside of generated photos. I'll put a link in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.